What is one moment when you realized you just fucked up? Not my fluff up necessarily, dot, but I invited a friend over for a barbecue. He didn't know anyone and has never been to my house but seemed really eager to go. So I was a little irritated that he was almost two hours late. I was just about to text him when I happened to look over my neighbor's fence. The neighbor was also having a barbecue, it was like it happened in slow motion. I saw my friend in the neighbor's yard chatting up some old lady. Our eyes locked. I saw the realization literally hit his face. I still laugh about it. I swear the guy turned white. The first time I, age 8, dropped the F-bomb in front of Momus here it was exactly like that scene in Christmas Story. Time slowed as I heard the word exiting my mouth, yet was powerless to stop it. At least no soap for me, though. Direction driller and locator of 10 years here. Drilling in Miami quite a few years ago and was doing a Bailey Deep Road crossing. Half a rod under the road I felt a pop and proceeded to see a 30 feet tall garbage stream shoot out of the road. I had just drilled into a 12 inches unmarked force main sewer. If you have ever seen a 30 feet stream of raw sewage you will never forget the smell. I pulled. What I thought was my expired credit card out of my pocket and ran it through the shredder at work. It wasn't my credit card. It was my government ID card, which I also need to log onto my work computer. While I was doing my human bio test, I realized after handing the paper in that I needed to do two essays instead of one. Quickest five stages of grief I went through. A while back I was doing laundry and noticed our washer had a bit of funky smell to it. I looked up some home remedy online that involved baking soda and vinegar, and while I was standing at the washer I thought a cup of bleach wouldn't hurt. As soon as I threw it in and started the washer my brain went, hey, you probably shouldn't just be mixing chemicals all willy-nilly. So I pulled out my phone and googled vinegar plus bleach and just about shat my pants when I read. The result, vinegar plus bleach equals toxic chlorine gas he proceeded to panic and scream for everyone to get the hell out of the house. Be careful with chemicals people. Sexted a group text instead of my person. When I turned my wheel right, and the car didn't. It's been almost 30 years since this happened and I still have nightmares. Freshman year of college. My first set of college finals. I was totally prepared and ready to take them all. Head almost straight as going into finals. I go to my last one. Which was a throwaway three credits of introduction to sociology. I sit down ready to ace it and look up at the board to see biology 103. Huh. That's weird. I pull out my calendar. The sociology final was yesterday. The other day I was BB Ching, not paying attention, had a glove on my right hand that's oven safe, someone handed me a beer and proceeded to talk to me. I took the beer with my right hand, I then opened the barbecue and grabbed the top grill with my left, unprotected, hand to adjust it, pulled it halfway out before the heat registered, once it did the realization was pretty instant. The blisters were bad for over a week. When I climbed my school's roof, was quite a heavy kid, and I was out and about with my cousin and mates. After running around school my friends dare me to go up on the roof and, as I'm not a wuss, I gotta prove to them that I ain't afraid to go on no roof. So after a while and much help I got up, ran around up there and had a bit of fun, and then I had to get down. That's when I knew I fluffed up no thing in sight to help me. All I could do was either call someone to help me, e.g. parents or firemen, or jump. Decided to take the risk and jump. Tried to do parkour like I saw in videos. Jump and roll you know. Ended with fluffing up my foot. Calling my parents and driving to the hospital. When questions said I slipped while playing basketball, foot is still fluffed up till this day and. My mom think it was because of basketball. Lol. Not that exciting but it was my first day at me new pizza job and 20 minutes after I cashed out a pickup order I froze and realized I never sliced that pizza. Just this morning I heard a weird pop in the kitchen. 
had a moment of total confusion, and then remembered that I had started hard-boiling some eggs more than 45 minutes ago. The pop was a hard-boiled egg exploding. When you take one proper look at your teeth and realize the grave consequence of years neglecting dental hygiene, PSA take care of your teeth kids. Going home at 4 a.m. even though I have a 7 a.m. class. Oh, and the lights at the living room is on. Walk in seeing my mom sitting at the sofa like a Goddard Mafia. As a kid I let the hand break off in my parents' car. I'd watched my brother do it plenty of times before so why couldn't I? It rolled straight down a steep bank with me in the driver's seat and into a tractor tire. My parents were fuming for a few weeks. Really it's a miracle I've survived this long. When realizing that you put the wrong test version down on the Scantron for your final exam this year. Was at a bar, chatting with some friends. My GF was across the room sitting with some other friends. Some drunk dude showed up and started groping her. I jumped up, pushed him away and yelled, fluff off. Then he turned around and I realized he was like twice my size. Dot and not in the fat way, in the tall muscular way. I mean I did the right thing. But if the bartender hadn't leapt over the bar and jumped in between us immediately that guy would have wiped the fluffing floor with me. The moment the dude turned around I thought, fluff, this is gonna hurt. I was a young software engineer working for a startup in 1998. Wrote about a week's worth of code, images, and HTML. There was this funny file named tilde in the directory. I wasn't sure how it got there, but I wanted it gone before I checked everything into CVS. No problem Monsieur Irmar F. I discovered my error a few seconds later when the directory listing contained nothing. No code, images, or HTML. Turns out, is a shell wildcard character matching any one character. Combined with all files got deleted. It was at this moment I knew I fluffed up. Luckily I was using Linux. E2FS file systems had a utility called debuffs which allowed me to list deleted inodes and dump them to new files. Took the better part of a day to figure it all out since this was before Google. I recovered the entire project. Here is good one which happened last week. I had a little too much beer and passed at it around 2 amateur it was couple of hours after I woke up and had this feeling to take a garbage but at the same time I felt like throwing up. As I run towards washroom I thought definitely I'm gonna throw up, but nothing came out. I was waiting on all four when I decided it's time to take a garbage. Big fluff and mistake. Halfway through I realized I fluffed up. Vomited all over the floor and on my legs. Worst part is I had to sit there 10 more minutes in that puddle while I finished pooping. When you are on the edge of orgasm you think wait just a little longer but now it's too late. I've told this story before, but I had invited this guy over to my place for dinner after we'd been casually seeing each other for three weeks or so. Things were going pretty well, we were chatting, getting along like a house on fire, and he was helping me cook dinner when I started to feel extremely intestinally unwell. I've always been kind of a private pooper and I could tell that this one wasn't going to be fun. So I asked him if he'd pop down to the shop at the end of the road to grab a bottle of wine for dinner. He agreed, and toddled off down the street. And as soon as he was gone I raced to the bathroom and relieved myself with something roughly akin to the force of a... Well, imagine, this, HTTPS www.reddit.com slash r slash power washing prawn slash but in reverse i took a minute to catch my breath reached over to the toilet roll holder and came back empty well garbage no matter i had a full nine pack of toilet paper in the back room i didn't have space to keep it in my tiny bathroom it was a very small apartment so I usually just grabbed a roll or two, and he'd only just gone. I had plenty of time. Cut to me. 30 seconds later. Pants around my ankles and my garbage cake bunghole shimmying my way down the central hallway of 
my flat when I hear a still, small voice from behind me, an NBSP, carrot 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 or monsieur, carrot 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 what carrot 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 or carrot 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 you carrot 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 doing. Turns out he'd managed to get to the shop and back in record time, and was sitting on my couch in my living room with a perfect, perfect view of my little fecal burlesque. I was framed in the doorway like a Goddard Renaissance painting. It was as though I was presenting myself to him in the worst possible you like. Come on, in the history of dating, it's very difficult to have a civilized dinner after that.